there, it's Jen for Hip Kit Club, and I am sharing a little mini album with you today. So mini albums aren't something that I make super often, uh, but when I do, I usually like to give them away. So last time I made a mini album like this, I gave it to my nephews, and they looked at it every single day. My sister said they loved it so much, so I decided to make a new one, especially since we're not able to see each other right now. I thought it would be fun to uh, make a little mini album for them. So. Um, I'm using the April, April? Yeah, April 2020 Hip Kits, and they're super fun, and they have these little tassels, which are great for mini albums, and uh, I'll just show you, I'll just flip through it and kind of explain what I did, but I wanted to show you real quick, the only, there are two things in here that are not in the kits, and one of them is this Heidi Swap sticker book um, I used throughout the album, and it is from a past kit so there was just tons of stickers in here and, and I thought they would make a good addition so I used that in addition to the uh, kits from the from April and then I also used this Sizzix Thin Lits die it's a tiny tiny little uh, text and it comes with multiples of each one it is freaking awesome I love it and so I used that as well so um, for my title page, so first of all, I printed off photos of my nephews because they're that age where they like to see photos of themselves. There are also a few little surprise photos in here, which you'll see later. Um, but I used a 4x6 size. Basically, I started by cutting down a piece of cardstock from the cardstock kit, this blue sparkly kind of paper, uh, and I cut it down. I cut both sheets down so that I could have these 4x6 sheets. And you can get six 4x6 uh, papers out of one 12x12. 12 12. So that worked out nicely. And then I also used some journaling cards. So the front is this journaling card plus a photo. And then um, I used a little border punch for the edge. You can kind of see the color scheme here is red, yellow, and blue with some mint and a little bit of pink thrown in here and there as well. So there is the title page. Next we have this page, which is on this side I have uh, some silly pictures. So this is a picture of my nephew Denver with Wesley when they were both really little. And now here's those two with their baby brother and he looks like he's crying for help. I thought they would get a kick out of that photo. Um, and so I did the title Oh Brother here and that's using cardstock from the cardstock kit as well as those little alpha dies that I mentioned. And then just some stickers. Um, I put, I think these are two three by three photos, and then just put a strip of paper uh, down the middle. So that was pretty simple. And then on this one I made a little pocket, and this is using another a four by six card that I just cut down a little bit to make into a pocket. Um, that's from the Pocket Life Kit. And then the title comes from the stickers, the Maggie Holmes stickers. Same with this little sticker here. And then inside I just slipped some photos of James, who is the youngest boy. So there's one with a little, I wanted to put something on them that you could grab. So this one has a little camera sticker, and this one has a little tab, and it says Jamesy, that's what we call him, Jamesy boy. And then this one just has this little happy. So. Just cute and then you can kind of stick them in there so that you can see them and then I added a little tab here I did I do want to mention because I know <clears throat> excuse me because I know that these are going to be handled by these little boys and they're going to be rough with it probably I used really sturdy tape I used stitching uh, so that everything stays in place really well so I don't want it to fall apart on them too quickly I bet it probably eventually will but <laughs> I don't want it to fall apart right away so and then I put this little die cut here to kind of act like a tab. And then on this page I did two little rows of photos from a photo shoot I did of them. Um, and then used the lemons and this cute little lemon soda. I just thought that was super cute. I feel like for some reason in mini albums I can use embellishments that I wouldn't normally use in on a layout like that I don't know why just for some reason I felt like I can use lemon soda here where I might not use it anywhere else um, and then I put a little sticker on the back of the die cut uh, just to kind of fill that space I also used a heart punch throughout the album just because it's an easy way to add embellishments uh, if you want to 
carry the theme throughout the album. So this page is a fun one. I just punched a circle in one of the pages and then made sure that behind it I had a nice photo. So this page just peeks through to the next one. And then I, I used this title happy and then put us in those same um, die cut little letters and then did a little floral swag here. And there were two of these on the sticker sheet. So when you flip it to the back, um, it matches up and so you can see that. And then even though I didn't plan this, it frames out their faces pretty nicely when you flip it over. So that's kind of cute. And then this is a little acetate frame that was in the Maggie Holmes die cuts. So that kind of um, looks kind of fun right there. So on this page, I just left this one pretty simple. And then on this side, it had the family photo that was peeking through the little circle. And I just added a bunch of embellishments down here. Again, I stitched this little banner, which is a puffy sticker. And then I stitched my little tag here. And you'll notice that there are lots of little pieces poking out the sides. I think that's fun with mini albums when there are um, bits and bobs kind of poking out when you uh, have the album closed. So that's fun. So there's that one. And then next we have this one, which is just a few different photos of us with them. Well, really Malia with them. There's my husband and Malia. I'm taking the photo and they're getting some Legos. Here's Malia with the boys hanging out. And then um, this has been since the... Uh, since the, all of the kind of social distancing. So that's Malia with them in the background, not too close. And so um, I just used, this is a cut apart from uh, Maggie Holmes paper that was in the kit, in the main kit, and then um, a chipboard piece as well. This uh, last page is also a pocket and I did this one on its side so you can see it's just stitched around these sides here. I did try to add a little bit of stitching to every page so that it had some continuity and then um, in here are a bunch of random things so I'll show you I'll pull these all out. This one's pretty full and I just used I had a bunch of photos randomly printed that I decided to stick in here that I thought they would get a kick out of. So one of them is a photo of all of us going out to eat. This was before James was born. Um, and I just put little tabs on them so they can easily pull them out. This I thought they would think was funny. This is a picture of me using that old app. Um, and I thought they would think that was funny. So there's that. Um, here is a little picture of baby James and I used this little acetate tab thing on it and stapled it. I stapled all of these tabs on because I want them to kind of hold up. So there's that. Here's a picture of James with his eyes closed, which I thought was funny and sweet. So I thought they would kick it, get a kick out of that. These ones are just kind of ones that I thought were funny. Here's a picture of Denver picking his nose. He's a boy. I think he'll think that's funny. Um, here's a picture of me and Mal, just a random one that I had. And since it's from me, I, I wanted to stick that in there. Here's another random one of us that's kind of weird. And lastly, this is an older photo, but of Malia carrying um, my oldest nephew on her back, which is cute. So that's just kind of chock full of all of these little bits and pieces that they can pull out. So I think uh, that kind of interactive things are always fun for kids uh, if you're making a mini album for kids. And then on the back, um, just put love you forever and ever with two little hearts there kind of bringing that the theme of the colors home on the back as well and I wanted to have it kind of match the front with that bird print so that is the entire thing so pretty simple really easy to make it didn't take me too long after I had the photos printed that's the worst part of it um, but using just a simple base like a four by six piece of cardstock is a fun way to do that. So hope that you enjoyed and I hope that you'll check out the hip kits. The May kits have just been revealed and they are glorious. I may have shed a happy tear <laughs> or two. Um, so be sure to check those out. I will link to uh, available products in the video description below. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.